Hi gorgeous, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing, of course. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for being a gorgeous subscriber to my channel. In today's video, if you saw the thumbnail, I am doing an Ulta haul. And I'm so excited to be doing this right now. Well, one, because it's my first haul. Um, to be honest, $300 isn't much to me, but $300 is a lot to spend on makeup. But the thing I like about Ulta, not to compare other places that sell makeup, but you get a, you get a lot for the bulk of your money. And they're always literally having a sale on the things that you really want and you really like. So that's my thing about Ulta. You're quicker to get to your points faster. Um, like I said, you can spend nothing at Ulta and get a lot. I mean, they just have everything. They're like a super center. Uh, you know how they have like Walmart super centers everywhere. They're like, Ulta is like a super center for makeup, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, like I said, in today's video, we are going to be doing a haul. So I'm going to show you some things that I actually ordered online. Um, my store doesn't really have a lot um, that I was looking for um online i mean compared to online so i really just decided just to order everything online and get it here that's where this big whole box comes in um yeah so let's dive in okay so the first thing i'm gonna talk about is because it's already been played with with my, by my daughter brielle i mean that's just for real. She gets into anything. She's 18 months, but I feel like she's in her terrible two phase now. So a little background with Brielle and why I say she's in the terrible two phase real quick. We in the fallout, all out time. And it's not really falling out because she braces herself before she falls out. So it is so funny to us because she will like plop down on the floor, rub her feet together. That lets you know she's angry. And then she'll lightly lean back and fall out and then start kicking her feet again. So, you know, it's so funny um, how just kids grow up. And I feel like she learned it from school because I know she ain't learning from here. Don't nobody do all that. And yeah, we spoil her, but where do these kids learn that falling out is okay i don't like that so as they say hashtag i don't like it <laughs> but i deal with it and one of the other things that she's going through as a terrible 18 month old i don't know a good word to say but um we're biting everything we're eating everything or we're putting everything in our mouth so therefore my first product is <laughs> is the morale palette yep as you can see my daughter found it and bit it up i don't know if she's poisoned or what i don't know if she's what's going on with her but yeah she got into it luckily it was just the box along with what comes inside the box um it is the How To Glamour Guide. And this is uh, so cute. It's hot and spicy love. And it tells you where to apply from the crease to the brow as a highlight. The crease to blend upward. So pretty much it gives you this look that um, Morale has. And, it is, and I forgot to say this palette is the Amor Caliente palette. Did I say that right for my Spanish folks? <laughs> But um, let's go into this palette. And the reason why y'all already know, I'm a burgundy girl. I'm a mauve pinkish girl. Like this just is epitome of fall with a little hot girl summer. <laughs> that pink shade up there. But like y'all, I love this palette. 
It is so cute, like the hot and spicy, the senorita, the chica, like these colors are everything. And I'm not even Spanish, but I just really, really love this palette. Um, I hate to dive in it, but I'm going to do a little um swatching. Let's see what colors. So I said I like hot and spicy. I like Senorita. Oh, it's really pigmenting, y'all. Uh, the pink one, Armor, Armorcito. Y'all can correct me later. And then we'll do a light color. We'll do Frenchy. <gasps> Look at those, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Excuse my nails. They look terrible. Let me put them up a little bit further. <laughs> Oh, look at these colors, y'all. So, 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 so cute. And this pink, oh, pigmented. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, this was um on my first list of getting from Ulta. Okay, so since I'm starting off with palettes, I'm going to just continue on. Sorry, <laughs> Um, I'm going to continue on with palettes. So my next palette I got is the Malls by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to tell you guys, this was sold out online on Juvia's Place. And I was really upset because I wanted <laughs> all three of them. And Juvia's Place did not have them at all. They were all sold out. So I went on Ulta and I actually saw the mauves and I think it's the totes or the nudes. I don't remember, but they did have the other ones. But I ended up just getting the mauves because um, that's my color, y'all. Mauve, burgundy, like, oh, that, those are my go-to, like. fall colors now because I don't really like pink. <laughs> the person who says that with a pink background. Uh, but this is my daughter's room. Uh, <laughs> I personally don't like pink, but I think mauve is a great subtle in between of like uh, a pink, a soft pink and a brown. I don't know why I want to say brown, but that's just how I feel. So these are the colors. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh. And see, a lot of these colors wasn't in the Caliente palette, a more Caliente palette. So let's go in, girl. Let's see what colors we got here, okay? And... It says one, two, three, five is pressed pigment. So one, two, three. Huh? Okay. So one, two, three, and five is a pressed pigment. And then four and six is an eyeshadow. That's what it says. Doesn't say the colors, um, but these are beautiful, y'all. Okay, so um, we're just gonna go in one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So these aren't as bold as the other palette. But I like the mauve and the softness, the softness of them, um, just because like this could be like a shimmer color and then this could be like um, your corner color, like right here. And then like, I don't know, this could be like your lid color. I don't know. I'm just have to experiment because these are really different colors. I really wasn't expecting these. I saw them online, but I wasn't expecting this. So we're going to have to experiment. Those are going to pick up right back. 
So next on my palette list, I got the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Okay, hate pumpkin spice. Yes, Starbucks, I hate pumpkin spice. But I saw some people with this palette. Your girl had to get it. So let me see. Let me show y'all what they see or what they showed me. <gasps> yeah. Like, look at it. Fall colors. It doesn't put me in the realm of pumpkin spice, though. Like, except for these colors here and these colors here. But it doesn't give me the pumpkin spice vibes. But I love these colors. I love these colors. And, I mean, they're cute. Of course, the packaging is cute. I wonder... It smells like chocolate, like the other palettes. I really was wondering that because I have a couple of Too Faced palettes and I'm like, oh, I wonder do they smell like chocolate like they always do. It smells like chocolate. Um, let's see. Let's some, see some colors. So I do love like they kind of are um, bringing in the Spice Girl vibes with the names. So, like, they got Spice of Your Life. I'm going to try that one because I'm a Spice Girls fan. They got uh, Spice Spice Baby. Uh, Want a Piece of Me. Ginger Spice. And Fall Vibes. We're going to try. <gasps> Ooh. Yes. I love this. I love this. Those oranges. I can't wait to try this glitter. Everything. I can't wait to try. So yes, y'all. Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. Love it. So I guess I've been on a little palette craze. I don't know. I got another palette. <laughs> Why? I don't know what's wrong with me. But I got the Madison Beer um morphe channel surfing artistry palette um to be honest i don't know why i got this to be honest probably because it was a collection so it like came with the lip gloss and probably brushes and things like that so it may be that's the only reason i would get a palette that is from somebody I don't know about because I really don't know about Madison Beer. But, um, and it could be the colors. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah. It definitely was the colors in the palette. <laughs> oh, look at that. Does that nice green fall to you? Then it has my mauve colors. Does that nice green fall to you? Uh, I'm kind of, my fingers are kind of tired of <laughs> testing, but uh, we're going to try this out. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I had the colors. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do um, life support. Cosmos, Prestige, and Fight Club. I'm just going to do four. Oh, those are pretty. They're light, just like Juvia's Place. I want something like really pigmented. Um, Just know with this palette, you will have fallout because you see my fingers? A lot of fallout is coming from them um from this palette so just expect that from this palette and also to be honest um the juvia's place palette i saw some fallout from that too y'all yeah, probably like is she done with palettes yet uh no girl <laughs> i got one more palette and 
I just really need like an everyday palette. I usually get like limited edition or collection palettes or um, celebrity palettes. I'm one of those girls, yeah. Um, so I really don't have like an everyday palette. And I feel like this 35C Everyday Chic Morphe palette, it has 35 shades to wear on the daily. Um, I can take this from daytime to nighttime. So I think that's why I got this. They have other ones, but the other ones were like purple, blue, and I think that was a green one. Um, so I do, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, sorry for the glare on my ring light, but like y'all every i can do this every day shade uh these colors are so beautiful i love when they have the names i guess this is like a signature for Morph morphe that they have the little clear plastic for the name of the shades i think that's really cute um i was gonna test these but i really this is the last palette i can do it can i i can do it Okay, so what shades we want to test? So I haven't done any greens. We've been doing mauves and burgundies and browns. So let's go over here to Just Perfect. Text me later. RSVP, yes. And ready to mingle. Ooh. Now, uh, look at this this oh i have a lipstick that this color y'all i wouldn't do it together but that color is everything what was that rsvp yes baby i love it and no fallout so that's really weird um these didn't get fall out, but the Madison beer did fall out. But yeah, this will be with me all the time. All right, so next is on to brushes. Um, I have a lot of brushes, but um, I just feel like, you know, out with the old and with the new spring cleaning with brushes and stuff like that. So I kind of um just went and invested in some more. I got too many as it is, but... Um, with me doing constant YouTube videos now, like, I need brushes all day, every day. So, so I to wonder why I got the Madison Beer collection. It's because she had brushes included. So, to be honest with brush collections, I'm going to be honest, I hate bags. I hate bags. I get it. You know... This could be your keepsake or you can use the bag, but I got enough bags, enough bags. That's not name brand. If it ain't a, a, a YSL or a Louis or a Brahman, I don't need another bag, okay? But um, <laughs> I'm being so mean, but um, it's cute. It's, it's cute. Like her logo, Morphe Medicine Beer. And it pretty much comes with um, eye pencil. I mean, eye brush. <laughs> Can y'all see those? So, um, let's see. It doesn't give the name or the number on them, but you can see their eye brushes. Cute, 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 cute. Uh, I'm really not going to pull them out. I'm going to just throw them in my brush collection and probably give my mother-in-law the bag. Um, like I said, I could like put lip glosses and stuff in this, but I'm just not that. I, I throw my lip glosses and stuff in my car, so I don't be needing stuff like this. But I may figure out something. It is cute. I love the color. I love like whites and grays and um gold so you never know all right next for brushes is the 
Oh, more Morphe brushes. I've been on Morphe all day. Um, these are the Rosé Bays, a uh, seven-piece rose gold brush collection and case. The case is really cute, so I'd rather keep the keep the case. This is the case that I keep. It's different. I'm gonna just rip this out. Let's unsnap the side. Ooh, and I'm a rose gold fan, <laughs> i.e. mauve, i.e. burgundy. Um, but it comes with some minis. I didn't really think these were minis. Oh, I don't like mini brushes, y'all, but here are the brushes that it comes with. Um, I'm not going to take these out either, but they're cute. Um... I'm not a mini fan, so mm, I should have read if they was mini. They probably was cheap too, so I didn't say that. All right, so next on the brush tip, actually sponge tip, I got um, this limited edition, I think they said, or a new color um, beauty blender. It's the Aurora um, beauty blender. Uh, I think it's really cute. I have, at the moment, pink and black. Um, I did have a tan one, but something happened to it, so I'm probably going to give me another tan one. Um, the only thing about Beauty Blender is they're so small for the expensive price. So the only reason I would literally get these is to just have every color. But... Like, I know Ulta has their own brand of beauty blenders, and they're huge. And I need something like that for coverage-wise. But it's like a collector's item to me, so that's the only reason I got it. Because I think these retail at like, $20. And the Ulta one I got, y'all, $7. And I guess it came with, um, I guess it came with a solid, uh, solid soap. It, it wasn't in it, though. Um, usually, it's at the bottom of it whenever I get these. Um, so, But it does say not for resale, so I know they just threw this in there. All right, so again, I told y'all I love a collection. So that is why um, Madison Beer is <laughs> in my haul. Um, I actually just seen that I got her lip gloss in the color venus and oh my gosh look how this look y'all first of all look at that color get into it that color mauvey oh i'm addicted y'all know mauve colors it almost missed my lips but um i love this little pointy tip so cute um velvet tip let's do a swipe Ooh, that's a nice gloss. So next, I got one of her shimmer highlighters, and I should have just did like a Madison Beer haul, because clearly that's what I got at Ulta. Um, this this shimmer highlighter is called Fairy Tears, and I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. That's cute, a little rose gold color. I'm gonna test it out. Okay. You can see it a little bit. I like that. To go with my Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette, I got the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Smells Like Pumpkin Spice Liquid Lipstick. And y'all know I love a liquid lipstick. Just love the matte feeling to it. Um, and look at this color. It's not orange. It's not pink. It's not even mauve. I can't even describe it. But it looks so good. And I actually love the Melted Cosmetics. The Too Faced Melted Matte brand. Look at that color. Look how rich and dark that color is. Okay, this one. <laughs> I will put it on now, but <laughs> that is so pretty. So this is um 
the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. This is the Madison Beer Lip Gloss. And then this is the Shimmer. I wish this showed up a little bit more, but probably on my skin, it'll look uh, 10 times better. Next with my Juvia's Place palette, I got a lip liner. It's the Lux Lip Liner in the color So Rare. And Ju this is my first time trying Juvia's Place be honest um the tip just fell off y'all did y'all see that the tip is gone <laughs> so anyways we just gonna screw that um ain't that a pretty color i love a good brown around my liner so that is gonna be a perfect brown as for a liner Again, it's called So Rare, and it's by Juvia's Place. Next on my Juvia's Place list is the Lip Reflect Gloss. I got it in Caramel Rose. It's a pretty nude brown color, and I got it to actually go with the lip liner. So let's see. Then they go good together. You barely can see the lip liner, but it looks so good together. Can y'all see? There it is. Once I blend it and stuff. I know way from this $300 Ulta <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> uh, I got a velvety matte lipstick from Juvia's Place in the color Kiwi. Uh, yeah, Kiwi. I love this. It's cute. Ooh. Let me turn it all the way up. Isn't that pretty? And it looks velvety. Let's put it below that. You see? Oh, that's a good mauve color. Y'all gonna hear that in a lot of my videos during the fall. Mauve, mauve, mauve color. <laughs> but it's really pretty yeah like i said this video not too long but it was long enough that you saw i got a lot of goodies um mostly palettes um lipsticks lip glosses liners and brushes and spent 300 dollars for that i think that is a really good deal um i didn't get any foundation or anything i hadn't really got into uh, much of foundations at Ulta. Uh, mine is Lancome, but uh, I'll definitely do another haul. And, and if there's some things that you guys want me to pick up or that um, you really like, um, that you want to see me test out and try, make sure you comment down below. You know, I really appreciate it because I do want to hear you guys and want to know what you guys are looking for as far as makeup and what I feel and what's my idea on how I feel um, with makeup. Everybody may not agree with you, but at least you tell your story and tell your background of why you think things should go the way things do. You know, makeup, you can mess it up. You can do it however you want to, but makeup is not a flaw. You can always tweak it. You can always perfect it. You can always do something else to add on to it or enhance it. So, I just want to know what are your thoughts on um, some of the makeup that I got. Do you like Too Faced? Do you like Morphe? Do you like uh, Juvia's Place? Let me know your thoughts on those brands. Comment down below. I really appreciate the feedback. Also, like I said earlier, if you're new here and you're just tuning in, thank you so much. But make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and then hit that bell icon for notifications so you won't miss an upload from me. Again, my name is Bree, and I hope you guys enjoy this video.